Preston Physics Grade 11 Kinematics Note 5 Motion Diagrams The first thing we need to remember when we're looking at motion diagrams is our definition for displacement. Displacement is always from the start to the finish. It's the difference between two points with a direction. It does not matter how we get to the finish. It's always a straight line to the finish when we're measuring displacement. The first motion diagram we're going to look at is velocity. Velocity is a description of an object's displacement over an average amount of time. We always have a starting displacement and a finishing displacement, and therefore we always have a starting time and a finishing time. When we're measuring velocity, we have V equals the difference in displacement over the difference in time, which is really V average equals d2 minus d1 over t2 minus t1. The second motion diagram we're going to look at is acceleration, which is very similar to velocity, but instead of having d1 and d2, in this case we have v1 and v2. We're still measuring this over a certain amount of time, so again we get t1 and t2, but our vector for acceleration has to do with the change in velocity. Therefore our acceleration is delta v over delta t, which equals v2 minus v1 over t2 minus t1. We've now looked at calculating both average velocity and acceleration. Now let's look at how we can represent motion diagrams using dots. The first diagram we'll represent is a car on the 401 moving at constant velocity. We're going to represent this by placing our dots equal distance apart as the motion is not changing. As you can see, this represents constant velocity. The second diagram we'll look at is a car that's rolling down a hill. This diagram is going to include some acceleration. When we look at this, we're first going to draw our hill so that we can see what we're representing. And you'll notice when we start drawing our dots, they're going to be close together at the beginning and gradually move apart. When they're gradually moving apart, this is showing acceleration. Now at the bottom of the hill, there's no more acceleration. It's moving at a constant velocity, so we need to show that the dots are equal distance apart. The last example we will look at has both constant velocity and acceleration, however they're in different directions. We're throwing a shot put, which is going up and then coming back down. If we consider the x component, we look and see that the dots are equal distance apart, representing constant velocity. This is because we don't have any acceleration in the x direction. However, if we look at the y component, we see at the top of the diagram, the dots are closer together because of gravity. Gravity slows the shot put down on the way up and speeds it back up on the way down. Using what we've looked at in this note, see if you can answer the question at the bottom of the page with the motion dot diagram. The questions out of the yellow duotang for this note are 14 to 20.